Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so let's see how hard it is to mod this radio. First thing we need to do is go ahead and pop that battery off and then probably take off this belt clip next. After getting the belt clip removed, we need to pop off these knobs up top. So I'm just gonna take a flathead screwdriver, kind of put that in there underneath that knob and then gently try to pry that up. Yep, little twisting motion and it does seem to pop right off. Be careful not to bend it too far one direction or the other. Just got it started and I'm hoping I can pull that off with my finger. So, yep, that one came off just fine. Let's see if we can get this one off. Now, this one's going to be two pieces. We got a top and a bottom piece. But I think we should be able to start right there underneath again. And I'm just kind of twisting that flathead screwdriver to get it started. Kind of go around to the back side, make sure we don't get it kind of cocked on there too much. Yep, and we've got two pieces right there so that's uh, fairly straightforward to get both of those off now we do need to get the gasket off of here there's a little rubber gasket right there I'm gonna have to figure out what I can use to grab that I'm gonna have to find a pick here in the office to grab that and then we've got some rings that we've got to get uh, loosened up some locking rings underneath these we got to get loosened up as well so I guess using the flathead screwdriver is going to be okay, not needing a pick here. Just be careful to kind of uh, work back and forth on the different sides. Again, not be careful not to tear this, and you don't want to get it cocked in there too terribly much. Let's see if that won't just come on off right there. Well, thought I had it. Yep, there we go. All right, there's one of those little rubber rings. So you can kind of get a look at it maybe there. Let's see if that will focus. Yep. All right, so that's one of them. Let's go ahead and get that second one off. All right, so with both of those off, now we've got those um, locking nuts exposed right there. I think I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver again right there. Try to get it in right there to that little slot and see if we can't just push that thing around to loosen it up. This actually might be a better angle on it right here. Well, it's a little tighter than I was expecting it to be. I do not want to jam my screwdriver into my finger this morning. That is for certain. All right, we got the first one removed. I did swap to a smaller screwdriver. Let's see if we can't get this second one removed now. Take a closer look at that. Yep, all right, let's see if we can't just get a hold of this one right here. Oh yeah, that one's turning freely as well, so just take a second here to work this one apart. All right, finally got both of those out. Now, I believe we should need to take out four screws, two up here at the top and two down here at the bottom. So let's see if we can tackle those and get those four screws loosened up. I'm trying to do this without getting in the way of the camera, but that's a little difficult. These overhead shots and trying to work on the radio at the same time can prove to be challenging. All right, I will say it does help to have a variety of different screwdrivers laid out on your workbench. These are the four that I've been working for, uh, are working with so far. Uh, a couple of smaller ones that are basically jeweler's screwdrivers, then a couple of uh, larger ones. Not terribly large, but a little bit bigger. All right, we've got that done, so now we need to separate this case and pull the board apart. I understand that this may fall out on us uh, as we do this. That's not a big deal if it does, and we've got to be careful of a gasket that's in here. So I'm going to see if I can just work this apart with my fingers. We do need to lift it up on the bottom end of the radio and then pull it this direction to make sure that these uh, everything clears up here at the top. So just kind of working with that a little bit, see if I can get that started up. Looks like I've got it up. Yep, there comes the battery clip out. So again, don't worry about that too terribly much. The gasket looks nice. We're not doing any damage to it making sure as I get in there with my fingernail right there that I'm not on that gasket. But let's just see if we can work with this and get it apart. There we go. Now, 
see exactly how that pulls down to get everything separated apart here. All right, just wasn't pulling up far enough to get that to clear. I have it now, and looks like we got a little bit of a little gasket of some sorts right there on the very top. But I do have everything out. I'm just going to leave that rubber seal or rubber gasket right around the edges. I'm going to just leave that intact. But now I believe we can get in there and try to take a look at modifying this board. All right, so now, and I'm going to overlay a screenshot here, we've got to locate this little component right here on the board. That thing is super, super tiny, but we are going to try to use the razor blade. Um, from what I'm understanding, you can use a razor blade to just flick this thing off. I do not have a tip on a soldering iron uh, that I think will fit in there, and then again, I don't trust myself with that small of a component to try to get in there and remove that. So I'm just going to take the uh, razor knife here, razor blade, and I'm just putting a little pressure on it and we're just gonna try to flip that guy off of the board. Now, this is probably going to be, got a little bit of it, I saw a piece of it come off and what you do need to be careful of is don't leave any of that uh, floating around. If you get pieces of it off, don't leave any of it floating around on uh, the board here to create a problem, but I'm just trying to get under there, and I think I almost got it. So we're going to keep at this for just, oh, there it goes, right there. All right, I'm going to try to see if there's any way that'll focus. I don't think that camera's going to focus close enough to what I want, but you can see it almost off of the board. I'm going to grab my phone and grab another uh, picture of that. So you guys can see that a little bit better. Let's see if I can get the phone in there to take that photo. Again, guys, take your time when you're doing this. Yep, I've just about got that flipped up off the board. So didn't take much with the razor knife to get a hold of it. I do not have a pair of tweezers right here handy. So I'm going to see if I can't go ahead and remove the rest of that. And I see it almost, almost. Come on, get off the board. There we go. It is off of the board, so I'm just going to flip the board over, tap it a little bit, and that should have it removed. Oh yeah, completely gone from the board. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. So that is a fairly easy mod to make. Let's just see if we can get it put back together, and then we are going to have to reprogram the radio. Uh, I believe we'll need to do a factory reset on this and then reprogram it uh, once we get everything done. So let's go ahead and start putting this back together. Now as you do this again be mindful of that rubber gasket uh, that's going all the way around the lid of it. We do not want to get that thing boogered up at all. So it's just a matter of getting everything lined up. Oh, yeah, nice, satisfying click. When you push it up in there, it does take a little bit of force to get all of this to reset or reseat in there. And now everything else should be lined up. Gasket looks good, so we can just... Oh, I did forget. Don't forget to put your battery catch back in there. Uh, almost failed to do that. Let's see. All right, there's the battery catch back in there. That's moving freely. We'll just kind of press that too. Right there. Oh yeah, nice. Let's go ahead and get those screws back in it. All right, with the screws back in the back, next thing we need to do is go ahead and get uh, all of this back together. Most aggravating part of this is probably these little rings, uh, these little locking rings that you have to get around both of these knobs. So they're the little aggravating, but we'll be able to make that work here in just a second. Oh, if I didn't mix them up. I think I did. That one's not quite big enough to go around this one. Let's get, there we go. All right, let's just go ahead and get that screwed back down on the, on that post right there. 
be sure when you're doing this, getting these started, don't cross thread these little guys. You don't want to put any force on them whatsoever. Looks like I might have that one cross threaded. So be cautious with this. Don't cross thread anything when you're putting it back together. Now, somebody tell me in the comments, there has to be a proper tool to do this with instead of trying to use a small screwdriver to make this happen. No, there has to be a proper tool. So if anybody knows what that is, put it down in the comment section below. Let me know what that's called so I can buy one of them and I don't have to use a silly screwdriver to make this happen. All right, a couple of little rubber gaskets here. Push those back down in place. Guys, we have almost got this wrapped up. Let's see, yep, making sure that that wasn't upside down. Get down in there. All right, got those. Now it's just the final knobs. Now these are keyed, so they'll only go in there one direction. I'm going to go ahead and get this one on there first. There we go. Make sure that turns like it's supposed to, it does. And then we'll go ahead and grab this. This one is also keyed, so you wanna make sure that you get that one back on there. Oh yeah, nice. All right, and finally, this one. I um, thought that one was keyed as well, but maybe not. Let's get that one pushed right back down on there as well. And I was mistaken, it is keyed. Took me a second to figure that out, but there we go. Everything is lined up. All right, let's put a battery on it and see what happens. Now, I do have coax connected going into the dummy load so that I can test this without broadcasting anything over the air. Oop, that's a little noisy. Let's tone that down a little bit. And let's go ahead and try to key in four, six, two, five, six, two, five. And let's verify that it will transmit. And as you can see with that little red light on top, it is transmitting. So that is a successful mod for the Yezu FT60.